How would your trading style change if you had one hour to beat nine other traders in a live trading competition? In this video, I'm going to cover three critical elements you need to outtrade your competitors during a live competition. First of all, let's consider the mindset of your trading. You've only got one hour to outtrade your fellow competitors. Therefore, you must know your trading plan inside out. Your mind must be extremely strong with exactly what you want to achieve before you go into this trading event. For some, it may mean going into drawdown at the start as your initial trades go the wrong way. Those who do will have to cut those positions pretty quickly. In a live trading competition, you cannot second guess your mindset or your strategy. You must act fast. And before all of these, the strategy-based decisions, you must believe in what you are doing. You must believe that you can actually win. Now, the people who are competing in this event already have a pretty strong mindset because they've proven that they can beat their fellow competitors to qualify for the Asia Trading Cup final. So they've already got a strong mindset. But in this competition, they will have the added pressure of a live audience with lots of eyeballs coming down on them. The event will also be broadcast via live streaming. So there's a crowd watching them and, that, and so they've got to have rock solid with their mind and their strategy and have 100% confidence in their trading strategy. Now let's consider the second point that is going to make a huge difference between the winners and the losers and that is going to be position sizing. When it comes to position sizing, most traders trade in a risk averse fashion in order to stay alive to trade another day. You wanna make sure that your losses are a small percentage of your overall trading capital and you're trading well within your means. Any one loss must be insignificant. But when it comes to winning a trading competition, when there's 53,000 US dollars on the line, you need to have a different position sizing strategy. You've only got one hour, so in that hour, you need to trade those setups that you trust and you know are high probability setups. But you must know your setups and the right position sizing strategy to maximize your wins when they come around. Now, of course, on the downside, if your position sizing is more aggressive and you have a couple of early losses, then you are really battling because you've only got an hour to make those losses back. This leads us to our third point, which is identifying what to trade. Surely this is one of the most critical parts of winning a one hour trading competition. One of the strategies that you might look to employ is to find the most volatile trading instruments on the night. The final will be around the non-farm payroll data release and the Euro US dollar will be the most actively traded and the most volatile. However, most recently, gold, silver and crude oil have all been very volatile and providing traders with a lot of potential opportunity. So it is going to be very interesting to see which products and which instruments traders are looking to trade over the course of the final of the Asia Trading Cup. My guess is a lot of people will be trading the Euro dollar to start off with because that's where the volatility is going to be. And if there are any big surprises, we could see gold feature heavily as well and you know gold is traded against uh, the US dollar. Gold is already extremely volatile at the moment, which will capture many traders' attention. So if you're going to be there, please come along. It's going to be an exciting final. We look forward to seeing uh, what the finalists trade and keeping you up to date as the trading is happening. Remember, the final has been broadcast live at asiatradingcup.com and will be promoted live and streamed live on our website. We look forward to seeing you on the night. So you can see firsthand how Asia's best traders trade the global markets.